Welcome to Central Valley Chronicles. I'm Betty Vasquez. Every once in a while, we like to spotlight some local heroes, people who've transcended personal tragedy or tribulation to achieve success for themselves and others. To put it simply, they're some of our favorite people. We begin with the remarkable story of a valley woman who was climbing the ladder of success until blindness struck. Our Mike Sanford says her optimism and humor in the face of this profound change proved so inspiring that it's now the subject of a Hollywood documentary. I'm driving the car feeling really good and I go, gosh, my windshield's dirty. And I said, that's not the windshield, that's the inside of the other eye. Imagine being a successful business person on a fast career track when suddenly you lose sight of everything, literally. That's what happened to Karen Parsegian one day in 2002. And then my friends came in and I'm meeting her husband for the first time and I was like, oh, can I get you something to eat? And I pulled out moldy cheese and moldy bread. So I consider April 23rd the day that I went blind. Couldn't see anymore. But this is not a story about tragedy and tribulation, but triumph. Karen Parsegian may have lost her sight in the prime of life, but she hasn't lost her optimism, her energy, and her sense of humor. I met authentic self, warts and all. I have nothing to lose, so guess what? I am going for it. This is interesting. I am totally lost right now. And Karen's going for it has so inspired others that it's the subject of a documentary. Longtime friend and business colleague Joel Honkberg spent 18 months with Karen, capturing her feelings, emotions, and experiences as she adjusted to this huge life change and challenge. And she was not always the happy, happy camper, but that was in a way good for the film because it kept you interested. It's still a big mush out there to me. But the film also captures Karen's poignant insight and abundant humor. It drew rave reviews at its Los Angeles premiere in 2003 and has been shown at a number of documentary film festivals. Joel says each time the audience gets it. It's not about a woman who's gone blind. It's about courage and the resiliency of the human spirit. It may have happened to me, but Joel had the vision and he was the storyteller. If you ever go blind, get a movie made about you and then have all this stuff happen. It's the only way to go. And among all that good stuff, Karen includes the incredible closeness and support of family, her sister, her brother-in-law, her three nieces, and her mom. It happened to somebody who could handle it and deal with it. And that has been pretty much the reaction that she's had all of her life. Nancy Parsegian saw that strength and humor when her daughter was only 10, when Karen went blind in one eye after being hit by a thrown crab apple. Years later, when disease and a whacked out immune system killed her other eye, it meant big adjustments for everyone. I have a great family, warts and all. No matter how crazy, how mad, how whatever we get at each other, we're always there. This is very cool. Your mojo is going to return. My mojo. Yeah. It's just hiding now, but I'm on the road. Today, Karen's crossing yet another goal off her list. She's hitting a few at a Sacramento driving range with instructor Ruben Sanamiego. Which way a... is out? That way? This way. Good. Oh, I first hit. First ball, first contact. Oh. Good. Excellent. Cool. Okay, it's all right. But now she knows she can make contact, and now that she knows right. that, the sky's the limit. So consider the life and the lessons of Karen Parsegian. Blindness, nine spinal taps, shunts, complete darkness, and still some pain and discomfort. And then there's the challenge of learning Braille and figuring out all the non-sighted gadgetry designed to help her re-enter the professional workforce. How does she keep in good spirits? One big way, set goals. I want to go to 50 states, 50 universities in 50 months by the time I'm 50, take this show on the road and talk about not just the blind thing. If I can take the amazing out of the amazing blind person, that would be a beautiful thing. And I'd like to travel around and re recording some of that to see what the, the uh, sequel is to Karen Part 2. And I think it's going to be a tremendously interesting and very funny an inspiring sequel. What lessons has this child imparted back to you? Mellow out, mother. 
that's about the truth. And to see what can be done when you take the right approach to it. If you can get past the fear and the frustration, what you're left with is you. And if you're willing to take yourself on, you can make yourself the best person or the worst person that you want to be. It's not so bad, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. There are those people in your life that you made it's impossible to forget. One of Karen's other goals is to visit the White House. She not only hopes to talk to the president about challenges facing the blind, she also wants to knock down a few pins at the White House bowling alley.